Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, could you give me a non-classified, um, not too down deep in, in the weeds, uh, status of Task Force Odin in Afghanistan? Congressman Hunter, uh, again, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, from, from a large scale, again, uh, I, and I think you have been briefed previously, but uh, the timeline that we're on for the deployment of the resources that will comprise uh, Task Force Odin in Afghanistan is on track right now. Uh, of course, what they've done is, is uh, consolidated assets that were already uh, in Afghanistan certain capabilities to form the nucleus of it. Uh, an initial operational capability had been declared uh, for that capability uh, in the uh, late winter, early springtime, and so we are on track to uh, continue to push that capability over uh, for a, a full operational capability sometime in the late summer. So, are, are you doing anything in the meantime? You've all seen the same graphs that I have of IEDs going up, casualties going up, deaths going up in Afghanistan while they're going down in Iraq due to IEDs right now. So we're losing soldiers and, and Marines. Literally, probably today, we'll uh, lose a few because the Army and the Marine Corps are not overwatching the roads well enough. And the Marine Corps might not have the assets to do that, but the Army does. Are you doing any, any stopgap right now before Odin is in place totally to uh, stop our, our, our uh, soldiers from dying? Congressman, I'd, ha I'd have to take that for record to find out exactly what uh, is being employed in theater with respect to the different regional commands uh, and specifically to the, to the unmanned aircraft systems or other fixed-wing uh, RISTA ISR systems. I, I would tell you, again, that as we flow forces in, uh, uh, again, I mentioned the Combat Aviation Brigade that, that flows in that brings its own capability with it certainly for the rotary wing capability, but as the BCTs come in as well, they bring the, the, the shadow and the Raven systems to, to give them that, the, the, the RISTA ISR, the sensor capability. Are you, are you using Constant Hawk right now in Afghanistan? It, it deploys later in, uh, in this year. Gotcha. So, so Constant Hawk with the um, with the same sensors that it has on it in I, I, Iraq right now, you're gonna, it's, it's going to be put to use in Afghanistan later on this year? Yeah, yes, it is. Are you familiar with the Angel Fire aircraft? The Angel Fire aircraft is a, uh, a C-12 with the same uh, sensor uh, array that Constant Hawk has? We are, Congressman, uh, familiar with Angel Fire. Did you know that, it, that we had uh, four aircraft sent home from I Iraq as opposed to redeploying to Afghanistan? And that was due to CENTCOM and the Army saying that th those were not needed in Afghanistan right now as we have a severe lack of ISR in Afghanistan. We're actually sending aircraft home from I Iraq back here and uh, letting it sit on the tarmac here while we have guys dying in Afghanistan. Were you aware of that? Congressman, I was aware that, uh, that uh, the decision had been made, and again, by the theater commander in terms of redeploying a, a capability. I know that uh, at least on the Army staff, our, uh, our, our, our senior intelligence officer, our G2 of the Army, assessed that capability in terms of its, uh, its, it, it, whether you could uh, maximize that uh, in the area of operations Once in more, it, it has the same sensor array as, as Constant Hawk. So if you want Constant Hawk, I don't understand why the Army Aviation wouldn't want a UAV or a, a, a C-12 with the exact same sensor array as the UAV that you're asking to come into theater later this year. And you could have it right now, literally right now, overwatching the, the uh, roads with that same sensor array. And it just seems silly to me that you would, you would redeploy something from Iraq back here where it's going to be mission impossible now to get it back overseas to Afghanistan outside of being in some nice big army program that spends billions of dollars to recensor it and get it back over to Afghanistan. So it's instead of doing the smart, efficient thing for army aviation to say, hey, wait a minute, we have four aircraft that we can use right now in Iraq. We're simply going to fly them over to Afghanistan and use them right now as a stopgap measure until Odin is in place. 
the Army lost them now, and I, I think the Air Force has them now or something. And the Air Force is actually going to uh, put them to good use and probably sooner than the Army could. But the, the Army and, and CENTCOM had the ability to do this, and it's unfortunate that the Army missed that opportunity to protect the soldiers and Marines over in Af Afghanistan right now. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, gentlemen.